Um, again, I mentioned this is, our, this is our client appreciation day. And it turns out some of our clients end up being sponsors of the show. And if there's one thing that's uh, taking your clothes off might be, one thing that taking your clothes off might be worth it for, and that's sponsorship of the show. So I want to give a big shout out now to Scott Capizo from Surfside Productions on Nantucket Island. We're calling this feature Send Me a T-Shirt. Scott Capizo sent this T-Shirt of his production company with my name on it in an envelope with a very large check to sponsor the show. So here we are, Nantucket Surfside Productions, Summer 2010. There's his logo, and the most important part, you'll notice my name on the t-shirt. So, you want to be featured on the Dot Video Show with Jesse Miller? Put my name on the shirt, put it in an envelope, stick a big fat check in the envelope, and wham! You're a sponsor of the show. All right. Let's move on to our next segment, and this is one, the one that uh, most of my friends have logged in to check us out for. We're very, very happy to have in the studio not just one, but two of these Canon XF305 camcorders. And to help us explain, in the event that I don't know the answer to a question, we've got Canon's pro media, pro market specialist, Chucky Luzier, in the studio today. Thanks for joining us, Chucky. Um, to give you a quick introduction, this gentleman used to shoot for Reuters. He's survived three helicopter crashes, has had multiple AK-47s pointed at him, and is banned for life from the country of France. And I am not kidding. So in the event that I can't answer a question, Chucky will help us out. In the event that Chucky can't answer a question, he will create an explosion and will escape through the side door. Cool. So let's, let's jump right into it, guys. On my right here, Canon's XF. 305 camcorder. It's totally awesome for a number of reasons. First, let's just talk about it sort of meta. Uh, this camcorder is the first of its kind because it's small and handheld and it records at 50 megabits per second and in, what is it, XML, XMF, MXF files. All right, we're recording to compact flashcards, 50 megabits per second, 422 color space. That's amazing. That is amazing. In fact, I've got a graphic that I'd like to show you the difference between a 420 color space and a 422 color space. Verge, in our next episode, we are going to show you guys a graphic that shows the difference between 422 and 420. For now, just know it's twice the color space, twice the color information of anything shooting in 420. So if you're doing green screen, if you're going to do a lot of color correction, and uh, you're going to be shooting on a small form camera, definitely keep this in mind because at that high data rate in the 422 color space, you've got all the kinds of information you're going to need in order to get a good, mani uh, good manipulation out of it. Here we are. Join me over here in the Dot Studios monitor. On the bottom, we've got four. Let me get that graphic up. <laughs> On the bottom line, we've got um, a representation of 420. This is our brightness, the Y. This is our colors in the B range, y, uh, B minus Y, and the red range, R minus Y. Look at the jagged sort of aliasing you get on a, on a straight line. When you double the information, when you double the color information and jump up to 422, look how the lines smooth out. All right, that's a, that's a nice graphical representation of a 422 versus a 420 color space, particularly when you want to do something like compositing green screen information, lots of color correction. It's very important to have all that additional color space. So let's move this camera up. Now let's talk about some physical features of the camera itself. Number one, the lens. Totally awesome lens. When you see this red stripe, check that out, Jose, right here. When you see this red stripe, you are looking at an L-series lens from Canon. Now, other manufacturers might make cameras, might make lenses. Canon happens to make both. Outstanding camera manufacturers, outstanding lens manufacturers. So while this is a captive lens, it's not an interchangeable lens, you're not going to have any complaints. It's an 18 times zoom. So in a 35 millimeter world, you're looking at like a 29 millimeter to basically a 528 millimeter zoom. All right, so a 29 to 528 zoom. And it's that beautiful, aspheric, uh, L-series lens that does not suffer chromatic ab aberration because it's you know, got two aspheric elements, one on the front, one on the back. So that, um, if you want a scientific description of what that's like, send me an email and we'll talk for days about it. Let's move back a little bit further from that awesome red ring that identifies it as an L-series lens from Canon. Look at the focus ring, all right? When I'm in full manual focus, you see this here, Jose? Yep. I've got focus marks, which means I've got a mechanical stop at the tight and the wide end of the focus ring. That's super important. 
Additionally, on the zoom ring, you've got mechanical stops. Look at this. Stop right here, mechanical, and a stop right here. Mechanical stop on the tight and the wide end of the zoom. Now, you do have an iris ring on the barrel of the lens where you want it to be for your, you know, for your iris manipulation, opening and closing. It is not a mechanical stop, but there is something special mechanically about the iris. It's metal blades. It's not plastic or, or uh, polymer blades. They're actually made out of metal, just like the ND filters. You've got three built-in ND filters are actual glass. Other camera, other camera manufacturers are putting in plastic uh, on these ND filters or, or making electronic ND corrections. Because this is a glass ND filter and metal iris blades, this camera can endure extreme heat situations where you're not sort of subject to the same kind of warping that you might find uh, as other cameras heat up and you know, exceed their maximum operating temperature. So if you're in a situation like we were at the Flugtag where it was 102 degrees, uh, you're going to want something that's not going to suffer warping. So pure metal blades on the iris, pure glass in the ND filter. The thread on the Canon lens, 82 millimeters. So let's say you've got an HVX200 or some other lenses that have an 82 millimeter thread. All of your screw-on polarizers, all your screw-on filters and Mac boxes are going to mate directly to this lens. Uh, 